But anyway, listen, listen. What's up? You know what? I got it. You know that house? That no. house is 189 Rodney Street. I'm going to buy it, man. That Rodney Street house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Everything's been working out for me. I've been working hard. I've been selling cars. Now I've got, I've got the right now to buy this house. Yeah. Yeah, man. And I can't wait, you know, because I want to move in there. I can't be coaching at my mum's all the time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. You still want that house in Rodney Street, yeah? Yeah, man. I didn't even know. I, didn't, I thought, I thought, you know, I thought you didn't want that anymore. You know what I mean? I don't want like, it. I thought, like, <laughs> we didn't talk about it for a while, so I thought, you know, you forgot about it. I can't forget about that house, man. Yeah? Look, double garage in the back, mm. and it's in the garden as well. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. I want the house, man. You do, yeah. It will help me sell more cars because, you know, these days you can't leave the car on the road. The, the council yeah, or yeah. whatever will take the car Bro, away. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so okay, got, well, listen. Uh, it's going to stop you there. Cause, uh, so, uh, me and Simone, we've been, like, house hunting and stuff. You know what I mean? Well, that's good, man. Yeah. And uh, she was nagging me. You know how she get. You know how she get. <laughs> she yeah, was nagging I, me. I know how she yeah, did. Yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. oh, I need to see a house. And, you know, I was panicking, I didn't know where to take her. So, you know, the first thing that came to my head, you know, the first house was the Rodney's. The Rodney's. <laughs> you know, just to, just to take her. You serious? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. You serious? Oh, hold on, I ain't even said that. Hold on, hold on. Well, hurry up and say what you got to say, man, because I don't like what I'm hearing, man. Well, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't know where to take her, like I said. So I thought, I'm just going to take her there for starters. Then I'll Google some houses while we're there. To look at some other houses, you know what I mean? Well, like, yeah. Because I know, I know that's your house, you know what I mean? I was like, come on. That's right, yeah. come on. But you know, she, she, uh, she, 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 uh, she liked the house, uh, you know, so I kind of, um, I kind of bought, bought it. I bought the house. What do you mean you bought it? I bought, I bought the house. We bought the house. Man, where's the loyalty? I told you this in confidence. Yeah, but you ain't spoke about it in months. I so what if I don't speak about it? I'm, 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 in, I'm only going to speak to you about it. Yeah. I spoke to you. And, and look what you're going to do. I mean, I didn't, I didn't think she would like it. You know what I mean? I you didn't think anything, man. You always doing things like this, man. man. You know how she gets, man. Like, like, it's old, isn't it? Like, why don't you just get rid of her, man? Man, you've said that a couple of times now. What's up? That's my baby, man. What are you talking about? So, so, so I can't, you know, chill out, talk to you about some of the things I want to do in life. Look, you go and buy the same house I wanted. Man, if you saw the way her face lit up, man, when she saw the house, you could I don't no. care about her face. Look, man, look, I'm sorry, innit? Like, You're you? sorry. Where am I going to live then? <laughs> huh? Where am I gonna live? You said you're at your mum's though, that's nice. Yeah, but you <laughs> think I wanna stay there? Come on, man. See. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, you can't say I'm not being loyal. I didn't know she would like the house. No, man. man you didn't know loyalty here at all, man. What do you, you mean, like? And you know what? I ain't gonna tell you nothing no more now. No, why? Why? We tell, we tell each other everything, man. We've been friends for years. What do you mean? Yeah, man? well, that's the problem. Sometimes you should keep things to yourself because you never know who you can trust, innit? I didn't. I didn't man. Damn. Why don't you two go and buy another property, man? We've got to sort this out, man. I, I mean, um, what's, what's that? She's she calling me. Yeah, yeah, she's always calling Baby. me. Oh, right now? This ain't really a good... Oh, okay. Hey, man, look, man, I... I gotta go. I gotta help her move the fridge into the house. Um, I don't believe this. Man. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you, okay? I don't believe this. One love, brother. Yeah. I said I don't believe this, man. Loyal to somebody, you need to establish the experience that you've had with that, the past experience you've had with that person um, and look at the commitment and the pros and cons, whether it's a toxic relationship like the two guys <laughs> or whether it's a useful relationship and whether it's worth you putting the trust in, what's in it for you, is it reciprocated and if not, why not? Right, loyalty, God, that's, uh, that's a difficult one. Um, what, what, what is loyalty? 
That's the big question. Has it got limits? Yes, it has got limits. Um, from what we've just seen there, it also evolves a lot, involves a lot of um, communication. Because obviously there didn't seem to be much communication there between the two guys and one's gone off and bought a house and left the other one at mum's. So, um, yeah, I would say that uh, there are a lot, a lot of limitations um, that you, you have to instill to have um, a lot of loyalty to whoever. So, to be loyal to somebody, I think you need to know when to stop um, and where to draw the line. Okay, I'll elaborate later on and I'll pass you on to my colleague. Yes, it's a, it's a very short and quite appropriate um, sketch. What I got from that uh, line comes to mind from one of Bob Marley's songs, Only Your Friend Knows Your Secret, and Only They Can um, uh, Betray It. And by one friend telling the other that they had designs on the house and wanted to, to, to buy the house. The other one used the uh, information um, for their own benefit and, and so forth. So trust does have its limits. There are certain offenses that um, friends and family might commit against us that we do forgive others. Um, they're really unforgivable. So there are limits and I cannot go any much further into this than uh, um, I think that we must be careful to whom we say what we say and in whom we put our trust. It's difficult when you've just met somebody, but if you've known somebody for some time, it depends on you know the relationship and the attitude between the two of you and the circumstances. Thanks. Yes, I um, loyalty. Yeah, that has its limits. But on this particular scenario, the one who bought the house should have been loyal to his friend and not bought the house. Basically, he should have considered his friend's feeling in, in buying the house. And he should have realized that, um, you know, he, he informed you about buying the house and you, you took advantage of it, basically. So, in that sense, I guess, loyalty does have its limits. But, in relating to the scene we've just seen, that brethren should have been loyal to his friend who purchased that, who wants to purchase the house and not purchased it ahead of him. The term familiarity beats contempt comes to mind, so we've got to really be... be um, supportive to our friends and not take advantage of uh, any situation that they tell us, us off in, in confidence. Okay, so ready from the panel and the questions about trust, friends, loyalty. Many of us have been betrayed by our friends. Now then, we're going to open up to the, uh, to the panel. Is there anybody from the audience wants to to speak just for one minute, as we said, and yes, we have someone off the mark. Let's give our young soldier a clap. Off the mark, give a clap. Yeah. Um, what's your name, please, before you start? Yep. Um, my name is Naren. Uh, what I want to say is um, there's limits to um, loyalty because we can't even trust ourselves as um, to do things. If anybody smokes, hopefully don't. Like, you can't trust yourself to not smoke the next day. Um, commenting on what? Sorry, what's your name? The one on the end. Minty. Minty, Minty yeah. Um, sorry, I, I kind of disagree with um, what you said. I think there's nothing wrong with the guy purchasing the house because he's got his own responsibilities and whatnot. And he did say, well, you said it months ago, and it's not like he can't buy another house. So I think... Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. I don't think he was being disloyal to his friend because at the end of the day, everybody has their own things going on. So, yeah, I think it does have limits. Okay. So, we have one young blood disagree with what uh, one of the president of the panel said. And that's good. So, we want to get some. Yes, I see some hands flying. If sister can um, mention your name, please. Sorry, I've been uh, advised that you both stand up. Oh, she's always stand up already. Just mention your name, my sister. Okay, my name is Mam Hasina. Good evening, everyone. Um, I arrived just now, not late, because late does not belong in the living world. Okay, um, I did not see the sketch. However, uh, that young gentleman in the hat next to Minty, I don't know your name, sir, but I believe it was you who just said something about um, some things are unforgivable. Everything is forgivable. 
That's just my brief point. I'd like people to think about that. Oh, okay, give thanks. Okay then. Um, okay. Anybody have a, 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 a point they want to um, share? Can you have your hands, please? Okay, the better there. Are you, can you please stand up and mention your name, please? Good evening, one love. My name is Brother X. Good evening, sir. I'm a big fan of Mama Asina, and I need to let it say that to forgive is divine. So it's always good to forgive. The feel that way. One love. Okay. All right, then. We'll have you to elaborate a more because, <laughs> you know. Okay, anybody um, else? Because certain hands are just a flat up. And as you stand up, please rise up and please uh, mention your, your name. Good evening, my name is Pauline. Okay, from the sketch, I didn't feel a great deal that these two people had a great friendship. Mm. I, it felt like if he said, you know, you said, oh, I'm just going to go and buy that house, but you've been taking so long. And then I liked it, because <laughs> now you brought it to my, to my attention. So I buy it. But it's, I don't think it's disloyal. It's just like, depending how long he's been talking about it. And properties are there. Somebody sees and they want it to be free. So I don't get the closeness with the two guys who say, loyalty come first. Sorry. Okay, then. Okay, then. That's, that's good. Okay, then. Anybody else? Anybody else? Put your hand up and... Or oh, if I have to pick on somebody, you know? I'm going to pick on somebody. I'm going to pick on somebody. I'm going to pick on somebody. I'm going to pick on this brother here. See me? Rise up, your name. And, um... Yes, the brother Dougie. Um, my name is Andrew Ree from the Black Arts Production Theatre. Um, loyalty. For me, um, someone that's going into possibly the political arena, um, loyalty is a, probably a big thing for, should we say, voters on the ground. And um, I'm here to learn to hear what solutions we can have to increase this loyalty. Uh, loyalty, sometimes people pay for loyalty to our work. Yeah. Sometimes people frame for loyalty through friendship or another means they want a gift. You know, what, what it is, you know, loyalty does have limits. It does have limits. And how far do you go to that loyalty, you know? So uh, I'm really thinking that on, on the ground level, how can we increase loyalty? That's for me, that's, that's the answer I want. How can we increase the loyalty mm -hmm. within its guidelines? All right? Okay, then. Give thanks. Okay, come on, give her a clap. Anybody else? Anybody else? Put your hand up. And, um, okay, if not, we have to go to, well, of course, if not, we have to go to the, uh, to, to the panel. Okay, you want to go to the panel? Okay. Yeah, um, uh, in relation to, yeah, it's on, yeah. In relation to the young gentleman, Nairon, is your name, yeah. Uh, he said he still should have bought the house. And that, uh, you know, of course. But I think that as a community, we have to be much more supportive to one another. They say the two biggest purchases are your house and your car. Now, if you're going to step over your brethren or your sister because in relation to the biggest purchase, that to me is a serious problem. But, of course, everyone's got their opinion. That's just my view. I wouldn't step on anyone who told me they want to buy that house because obviously is the the gentleman who said his girl liked it well the other brethren's girl may have liked it too you understand so to me the same do unto others as you have people do to you comes to mind we have to be serious as a community on that so i just think if we're going to do it with things like that what if we get to higher levels how much more are we going to step over our bridge and the system we have to seriously think about how we deal with people it's not against you, my youth. You have to say what you've got to say, but hopefully this is a later process. Sila, you said everything is, is forgivable. Is pedophilia forgivable? No. All right, so everything's not forgivable. Well, for me it's not. I wouldn't. Would you trust someone who's a pedophile to look after your children? I, I personally wouldn't, so to me, 
everything's not forgivable. And, and that's in relation to what, I forgot your name, Bertrand? Brother X, okay. You said, what's the saying? To, 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 to make a mistake is to, is to err and to forgive is divine. I hear that. And I think you can forgive to a level, but forgetting, no. And to, to bring the person back into your, your surroundings as usual, I can't see that happening again personally. You know, there's certain things to me aren't forgivable. Peter, you know, Peter Phil, you've certain other things or not. Um, and this is from Pauline. Pauline made the comment about no, there seems to be no loyalty. Uh, okay, let's just take it as it is. But I just, I just get the feeling it's like people don't really care about each other. It seems, man, that we should care. I think that's one of the issues in our community. We've got to start caring for one another, basically. So if they didn't care for each other, I don't know. I, I, I just got he, he, he betrayed his friend. And I think we've got to just cut that out. If your friend's telling you something in the confidence, respect him or her. That's it. Bottom line. I just want to pick out um, Nairon, he said that if we cannot trust ourselves, how we expect you to trust each other. And throughout the comments by all of the speakers, um, I'm a sinner, Pauline and Andrew, I, I got the idea that um, the, the trust between these two friends was not, quite, was not strong. Um, and I, I saw nothing wrong with somebody actually purchasing a property, even though they know that their friend um, had their, you know, their eye on it. It's really opportunities, but I dare say that if the friendship, true friendship between the, you know the two, or the, the trust and loyalty between the two was stronger, then one friend wouldn't have done that because they knew that it would hurt the other friend, and so therefore um, they wouldn't. I cannot fail but pick up on the point that uh, Mama Sina made about everything is forgivable. To me, as far as I am concerned, um, that is not the case because there are things that we ourselves in our true hearts will forgive and we will not forgive. There are certain instances in life where, um, again, um, pedophilia, those who molest children, murder our, our loved ones, commit. Even in society, there are acts of treason, right, for which, even though the death penalty has been abolished, there are certain acts, if you do that, if you were to go and blow up one of Her Majesty's ship, they will top you. That's a fact. You will get the death penalty there. And so there are certain things which are not forgivable, and we need to define, really, those which are and are not, because otherwise society will break down. And, and that's what I'd like to say on that matter. Thank you. It's very diamond. Um, what I wanted to say about um, whether loyalty is acceptable to, I mean, this, you know, you, you can't forgive. Um, there's some situations that you cannot forgive. Personally, I. I understand the point you're making about paedophilia. <coughs> it's the paedophilia's action that cannot be forgiven. It's what he actually did. But for you to set yourself free to move on, you have to evaluate what you're doing to yourself as a human being. So don't, for, don't um, um, agree with the actual offence, but at least set yourself free so that you can move on and deal with the consequences. Okay, thank you. Okay, Michael here. Yeah.